What's going on guys, Tmart here, and welcome back to an episode of Call of Duty Ghost Killer Class Setups. The goal behind this series is to provide you guys with some unique and different class setups you don't see every day, but they're also very effective and you can do very well with them. So, uh, the idea behind today's video, the class behind today's video, is based off of yesterday's video. If you didn't see that video, I'll link it down in the description and annotate it on screen. It was about what happens to your weapon in terms of damage and recoil and things when you put on burst fire or semi-auto attachments for the assault rifles. So, uh, in today's class setup, we're going to be talking about the ARX-160 assault rifle with the burst fire attachment. So, uh, in its regular form, the ARX is a very unique assault rifle in the fact that it's kind of flip-flopped in terms of its damage and killing properties. It excels up close, but then it struggles at long range. You know, it's one of the fastest killing guns in the game up close, but then it's also one of the weakest guns in the game at a distance. So that's kind of flip-flop for an AR. Usually it's the other way around. Well, the burst fire attachment helps with alleviating this. It gives it a 50% damage boost to every ARX shot that hits the head, the neck, or the torso, you know, the body, the center mass of any enemy. You know, there's no damage boost for hitting limbs, but if you hit them center mass, head, neck, or torso, it's gonna give you a 50% damage boost, which turns the ARX into a two-shot kill machine up to a pretty good range, and then a three-shot kill machine for even farther than that. You know, when you use this weapon, you get a ton of one-burst kills, and then also... The ARX is a pretty unique weapon in the fact that it has the built-in recoil compensation. We did a video on this a while ago too, and the first two shots of the ARX have negative 15% recoil. Now when you think about it, when you've got a burst rifle and you're shooting three rounds per burst, the first shot has negative 15% recoil, the second shot has negative 15% recoil, and then the third shot, which has full recoil, it doesn't really matter because that's the end of the burst. There's going to be a 0.2 second delay and everything is going to reset and then you're going to burst again. So, you know, technically all of its shots have some sort of recoil compensation built in, which is a, which is something that kind of separates it from the MSPS. Like I know a lot of you guys can ask, you know, why would I use this over the MSPS when the MSPS is a very strong three round burst rifle without having to waste an attachment? Well, I mean, honestly... I think the recoil is a lot more manageable, and I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this. I just, I feel like the MSBS, while it has predictable recoil, it's pretty much straight vertical, you know, up and down, it still has quite a bit, and it's easy to get off target, especially at those medium to long range distances. I feel like the ARX, while it moves a little bit more side to side than the MSBS does, it doesn't have quite as much recoil. I just, I like it better. It might be a personal thing. Like I said, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Try this class out, and then come back and let me know, because I want to know if it's just me if I'm crazy or if you guys feel the same way and then also I feel like it performs a little bit better at close range as well it's a little bit more shotgun-esque especially if you put like steady aim or something on it because the ARX has a much fire or much higher rate of fire so I know it, it feels like you instantly look at somebody and they're dead right away because it's a two to three shot kill depending on how close they are so uh, yeah it's just the MSBS is a great gun don't get me wrong but I'm just saying you know this ARX class with the burst fire is it is kind of has some pros and some cons to it and in a lot of situations I like it better than I did the MSBS so that's why I encourage you guys to try it out so Finally, in terms of the class, what do I like specifically in the class setup? Well, of course, you got the ARX 160 plus burst fire, and then I also like grip on it. Usually, that's my second attachment. Sometimes, I will put a third attachment on it. So, if you want to put a third attachment on it, muzzle break is really good because burst fire does reduce your range. That's one of the negative side effects of it, so muzzle break will help to alleviate that. Or, if you don't like the red dot sights, which I don't mind them, but you may not like them, you could also put the red dot sight on it. So, if you want a third attachment, then those are two good ones to go with to kind of mix it up. Uh, next up in terms of perks, what I like to run typically is ready up, quick draw, focus, steady aim, and attachments. Because again, I like to run that third attachment. If you don't want to run attachments, then you can put stalker on. Stalker is always a very good perk for assault rifles. So uh, yeah, those are my two favorite class setups right there. I encourage you guys to go out and try this thing because it's just, it's something different. Like even if it isn't quite as good as the MSBS, you know, just, you know, flatline by itself, it's still fun to use, you know, it's something different, it's something to mix it up with, and a lot of people are like, whoa, how do you kill me from that far away with the ARX, that thing sucks, and you're like, hey, don't hate my swag, son, so, <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I said that, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you guys so much for watching, I truly do appreciate it, try this class out, it's a lot of fun, it's not one of my best classes, but it is a very effective class that I use a decent amount, because it is fun to mix it up, 
and, and do well with it. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about the ARX with Burst Fire. Leave your comments down in the description after you try it out. Let me know how it worked for you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out one of the other two videos you haven't seen yet. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.